Welcome back to my cruise vlogs. In this series, we are going to Norway to the beautiful Norwegian fjords, a real bucket list destination for us. Today, we are embarking Iona from Southampton Docks. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know when it comes to embarkation day, from where to park to how to check in. Then on to a tour of our conservatory mini suite with balcony and then showing you around Iona and all that she has to offer. Our first day is a sea day, so I'll be showing you everything on board Iona to keep you busy and ending with the iconic celebration evening. I'm delighted to be working with P&O Cruises again to bring you these videos because they offer incredible value for money as everything is included in the price of your holiday and I know that they provide exceptional experiences. With 33 restaurants and bars to choose from, spectacular entertainment, exciting destinations and multiple accommodation options, there is something for everyone and every budget. Iona is the little sister to Avia and on my channel you can also watch as I set sail to the Caribbean on Avia once you've watched our Norwegian adventures. I will leave some information in the description box for you to find out more about P&O Cruises and the destinations they can take you to. Don't forget to come back and watch part two where I'll be sharing the incredible shore experiences that we do and the sites on offer in Norway from Stavanger, Olden, Hellesilt and Haugesund. But for now, let's go cruising. Welcome to my Norwegian cruise vlogs. I am so, so excited to share the next week ahead with you. We are sailing on board Iona and we're going to Norway and we are doing destinations such as Olden, Stavanger, Hellesilt and Haugesund and I cannot wait to share with you how much there is to do on board Iona as well as all of the shore experiences that we're going to be doing into the Norwegian fjords. I can't wait to see how beautiful it is. We've been looking forward to this for so long. We actually had it on our bucket list. So hopefully if you're watching this and either you are going on a Norwegian fjord cruise or maybe you're going on Iona to one of her other destinations that she goes to, it will give you the inspiration or it'll give you some things to do, some information and hopefully get you excited for your trip as well. We've been looking forward to this for ages, as I said. So I can't wait to share with you. Today we're gonna be doing an embarkation day vlog so I'll show you the process what to expect what you need to know and then it's going to be a day at sea tomorrow so I'll share with you everything you need to know for sea day the things to do this ship is packed full of things to do and you will not ever be bored so we are traveling as a family of four my children are eight and ten so we're gonna be testing out the kids club show you what that's like the process for booking the kids club Today, so far, we have embarked and it's been a really, really smooth process. There she is! Oh, oh, oh. oh that is humongous! Where? There! Children seeing Iona for the first time, it's so cute! So we pull up to Ocean Terminal and we get directed to the lane where you take off your bags and they get given to the baggage handlers here and that was the last time you'll see them until you get to your cabin which is like magic and it saves you carrying them around. We booked Cruise Azure Parking which is just across from the terminal. You can see the ship there and then we left the car there and we will pick it up when we get back. As you can see there are no queues here. This is because you're giving a specific embarkation time so make sure you don't deviate from that because it does control the crowds and it is so slick and simple. Up to the top of the departure lounge and you'll go to check in. This is where you'll need your passports. As you can see, again, barely any queues here. It's really well managed. You hand over your passports and your boarding passes, which you'll be given before you embark, and then you'll be given a good to go ticket which you can take in with you. Next up it's security. When I say this is the quickest, simplest process, you can even take your water through. It's so smooth compared to flying. And then you get your first steps on board the ship. This is just an amazing time. The children actually said it was so luxurious, which I thought was really cute. First up, you need to go to your mustard station because this is really, really important to get familiarized with what you need to do. And then you can go to your room and you can watch the safety briefing first view of the atrium when you walk in and you're boarding is just fantastic it's a magnificent sight so the children really love that process we met with our friends Louise and Liam they are also on this cruise and they're going to be sharing over on Louise's channel as well which is Louise Pentland and on her social as well so go over and check her out but she has done this cruise before they are like our little tour guides it's amazing because they can share with us the best things and then I can obviously share that with you hopefully that has answered any questions you may have do let me 
know in the comments and I'll do a cruise Q&A after these vlogs go live once I finish them. We are going to be doing lots of shore experiences. I'll show you the process of booking them. The kids club how to book that as well because the process is really easy. It's every morning you just click on and you see which session you'd like to do. For us we like to spend the day with the children. We like to play with them, swim with them, do shore excursions, do anything on the ship of which there is a lot more on that later. And then in the evening we'll probably have a buffet dinner with them or a sit down dinner and then they will want to go and play for a couple of hours just to get their zoomies out, go and run around and have a good time with the friends that they've made. So more on all of this coming up in the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I'm Lara and I have done Avia cruise vlogs as well if you'd like to see the Caribbean sailing or just what Avia is like. I would absolutely love to do more cruising. I think we're going to do Mediterranean next year. But do subscribe to the channel, there's loads of travel videos here and I like to show you ways to live your best life on a budget. So of course holidays, travel is a an expense, but I like to show you the ways in which I maximise and a cruise with Pino Cruises is such good value for money because so much of it is included. If you didn't want to go to the supplement additional restaurants or drink alcohol, you could literally have your cruise and not spend a single penny on board, which is fantastic value for money. All of your entertainment, all of your the shows, the meals, the swimming pools, is all included in the cost of your cruise. But more on that later, let's get into the video and show you what we do on our first day embarking and our sea day tomorrow. So we have eaten, we have just had our welcome buffet which is in this beautiful restaurant and now we are going to a very special event with an author that I actually grew up reading and she is here doing an event and then I think we'll do a cabin tour and a bit of a ship tour and tell you why these are so important. This is the clubhouse which is where we're having our special event so I'll show you more of this later but it's so pretty, it's so, I love the day tour. Just got to our cabin to show you around and our luggage has already been bought here which is amazing. So you've not had to lug it around all day or you know find your way here with it. It's all here for you so I'm going to go on in and I'm going to show you what the room is like. I've never had a room tight like this and I'm really looking forward to it. I just love the decor in here, it's really modern, really clean blues and beiges and it's just a really nice decor and aesthetic in here. So this is our area to sleep. This is a, the beds on these cruise ships are so comfortable and you have the best night's sleep, but more on that later. I love how they put down this luggage mat so that you don't ruin your bedding or anything like that. When you come in with your luggage, you can pop it there while you're unpacking. There's really, really spacious wardrobes here. That is a lovely touch. Imagine having a morning coffee on the balcony, which I'll show you in a second, and in your robe and just watching the fjords or anywhere, wherever you are. Can you, can you even imagine? And then in here is uh, obviously all the hanging space, life jackets, really, really nice long cupboards as well, if you can see that, because obviously us ladies or even the chaps may have some nice long dresses. And then there's also this, here which is shelving so that's great for the children's clothes and then there's another cupboard here with even more shorter hanging space and obviously then you have your, your safe and then another cupboard up there one thing i will say is there's so many cupboards which is amazing like there's loads of little cubby holes here places to put your things like that and then you get these two little lights here one reading light one bedside light and one thing i will tell you a little hack is under here is a plug for your phone at night time, which is brilliant. You don't need to have a proper plug, you just plug the cable in. So that is a little tip if you ever stay on a Pinot Cruises cruise ship. But now let me show you over here, 
which is where the children will be sleeping and they have bunk beds which is really cool. They're gonna absolutely love that. Which means you still have this nice area here. I would imagine you can probably take this down. Yeah, so you can take that down. So if you are walking in and out, then it means that you're not gonna have that in the way. So yeah, let me show you from back here. So this is the sort of sleeping area, but let me show you what is special about this cabin. So as we go out, we have got a little conservatory area which is so sweet i love again this beautiful calming decor really nice comfy seat here and this is like a really nice living space so obviously you're not then in the bedroom area and you can have this which is great for children as well if you have got children with you if they want to be like reading a book in bed and it's night time you can have this extra space to have as your little space. Obviously, if you're a couple or a solo as well, how nice is this to have like a separation from your sleeping area? And then we have the balcony. Let's head on out to the balcony area. Oh, it's sunny. So we are still docked at Southampton. So this is an extra space to have. Imagine a glass of champagne or a morning coffee. Oh, it's very windy in Southampton. So I'll show you along here. There's the deck. Obviously there's Southampton in the background. So I'll show you a few little bits that you get when you embark on your ship. So you have a copy of Horizon, which I will show you more about soon. It's really, really interesting and a great read every day to have that. And that is delivered to your cabin every single day. And you've got some information about your boarding. Anything that you may have pre-booked will be here on the desk. So lots of information on here. And then also we've got the kids club as well, which we will soon have booked in for because we are registering them. So that's really nice as well. And then Pino Cruises, obviously we are working with them at the moment. So they have been kind enough to gift us. Look at this, Iona. And that's amazing because George actually forgot his teddy bear. So that's so lovely. Obviously you can purchase these on board too. And then, oh my goodness, so many amazing things. What's this? Oh wow, look, a document wallet. That is beautiful, I really like that. And then things like a water bottle, really good because obviously you can fill up your water from the free dispensers on board. A Toblerone, <laughs> tell me you've been on holiday without telling me you've been on holiday. And some colouring too, so that's really, really kind of them. So yeah, other than that, you have your humongous television. It's really, really big and there's so many movies on there as well. And then you have this lovely selection here of teas. I don't think that, that may well not pull out. I think it might go up. And then you've got the kettle and then a coffee machine as well, which is great. And then we also have oh wow that's so kind of them they put a bottle of champagne in for us they have treated us there thank you so much and then obviously more cupboard space so yeah loads and loads of cupboard space this is also a cupboard here which i thought it was it's just amazing how much cupboard space they've basically been able to fit in which is really good for when you want to put away your things and obviously a nice desk for doing makeup on for me although the children love to sit here and do drawing and things so yeah this is our cabin what do you think of your room <gasps> so this is really handy to show you exactly what is where we're currently on deck nine and we are going to Brody's, which is deck seven so yeah let's go in this one and what did i say earlier this color is really important what do you think this color means I think it means it's the door are in the back of the ship. That's right. So red is aft, which is at the back of the ship. I really hope this is right because I got it wrong last time. And then I don't actually know the colour on the forward, but it's at it's a different yes, forward is at the front of the ship. I think it might be grey, we'll have to find out because we are about to go there now. So hopefully we will be able to show you that, but there's also one middle as well. It's just really helpful for getting your bearings. Here we go, we're red, so we know we are aft, which is at the back. And then here, which is the cruise ship map, says that we are here and we are going to Brody's. Oh, it's touch screen. So where did that, it's gone now, but if I, oh, here we go. Oh no, we need one, we need one. So let's press one. 
So do something. I don't know if it is touch. It is touch screen, isn't it? So where's one then? Oh yeah, opposite Brody. So we need to walk down the entire length of the ship. So we get to explore. We're going to find out what's around. So this is the shopping. <gasps> they have Elizabeth Scarlet. Okay, I'm going to show you around once they're open. The shopping here is amazing. I'll save that for a bit later when it's all open. And yeah, this is the parade deck basically. Yes. Um, lots of bins around, lots of water dispensers around, lots of stations to clean your hands around. Look, the Grand Atrium. Wow, we look at this. So obviously it's really busy because everyone's just embarked. Everyone's finding out what they want to do with their holiday. They've got different things that you can book here, but I'll show you more. But this is stunning. It's the first time I've seen this. So this is the casino here. And then we're going to turn... No, this is adults only here. And then here is Brody's, which is like a proper pub. Piano Cruises offer a drinks package option which you can buy before you get on the ship which is a 10% discount or while you are on the ship and these range from whether it's alcohol free package they start at 10.95 and then you can go all the way up to a deluxe alcohol package as well which you can add on and then all your drinks are included. So here we are in the middle of the ship and everything is grey. I actually even think the carpet changes colour, so let's go and see. But I'm just going to dip back to the room. I thought I'd show you those, so it's really helpful if you want to know where you are. Um, as you can see, we are here in the middle of the ship, and I need to go back to our room. Okay, no, I can confirm the carpets are the same colour, but here we are, aft. Got like glitter in them. Right, I'm just heading back to the room now, and we're going to go for some dinner, and then I'm just going to show you what I can. I think I will. Oh, it's very. Oh, one more. Oh, those legs are burning. So we are just going to have a really early dinner now in the glass house, which is sort of like open dining, and then I think there's a kids disco this afternoon, 6:30, I think. So we'll do that. But yeah, I'm just going to show you a little bit around the ship today. Oh. Good afternoon everyone, this is the officer of the watch speaking from the bridge and I would like to wish you all a very warm welcome on board Iona. This is to advise that at 5pm today, which is in 30 minutes time, the ship's alarm bells will be sounded and announcements made as all newly embarked guests are familiarised with the ship's emergency procedures. So Stuart is in Brodie's because there's a Liverpool game on, how fortuitous for him, so he's just watching that and we've been playing there a little while but the children have just gone with Liam and Louise. I haven't actually introed you to our cruise buddies, I will do that soon, uh, but I just wanted to talk to you really quickly because I often get asked about accessibility on you know, cruises for wheelchair users and I have seen probably about five or six wheelchair users so far and loads of prams as well, so lots of families with young children and it's so far I've seen really good accessibility but I will keep looking and I will keep sort of showing you what there is there for wheelchair users and um, obviously wish chairs with that as well uh, but yes yeah, so far so good we are gonna dine here tonight in the glass house uh, but we're going to be sailing away in about 40 minutes so we kind of want to be oh are we actually moving? I <laughs> think we're actually no, it's that weird thing like when a bus drives past and you're on a, or a train and you're on a train, you don't know which one's moving. It's that rig that's moving. So yes, we're going to be eating here, which is lovely. And uh, I will show you a little bit more, but I just wanted to cover that off because I know lots of people are interested in that. Here he is. Were you happy? Did you win? We did win 3-1. Down to good. 10 men for the last 20 odd minutes and we're 2-1 at that that's point. We've still scored. So, uh, cool. so that was a nice little welcome on board Iona for you. A football game? Oh, yeah. Here. Right, so this is the oh, shop, well which I did briefly show you earlier, but I will show you once they're opened. So this is um, a war like a practice for the emergency if you need to go outside to your muster station. So when you first get here, you do your muster station and you watch the... Hope you can hear me. Yeah, that was a little bit loud for you guys. So yeah, if you ever do need to gather, if there's an emergency, if you hear that, you go to your muster station. The signal you have just heard was the general emergency okay. alarm and was sounded for guest familiarisation purposes only. So nice. No action is required by guests. I've today. got them for you, baby. You, you, you know me, always got your back. 
I just think if we go outside, you'll need them. Okay. Thank you. Look, we've got Ventura heading off over there. What do I know I'm off to? Mummy, for me and me and George want chicken nuggets. Okay, then no problem. So this is the menu for the children. Can I have green vegetables? Can I have a strawberry jelly for pudding? Oh, yummy, yeah, that sounds good. And then I'll show you our menu. You not get pudding and then go to the ice cream. That's really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Prime beef sirloin. Oh yeah, I'm already, I'm going to have a steak and chips. I'm going to have a steak and chips. That's really, that's actually really good. Yeah. yeah. And then the wine, so that must be a bottle then. £20 yes, for they're bottle. just the recommended one. Louise has got the kids to so nice. entertain them. Best friend incoming, bringing Lego to the party. <laughs> big fan. Well done, big fan, big fan. <laughs> So for my starter, I went with the trout and avocado puree. Oh, Stu oh. sorry. <laughs> Very good. That's raw, dude. Chicken, I can't chicken film it when you get to eat it. Chicken on croquette. Chicken croquettes. Oh, croquettes. Sorry. Yeah, Louise's got yeah. the soup. So we've got the sweet corn risotto. We've got, I've gone for the pork loin with some savoy cabbage, carrot, potatoes. She's gone for the steak. Sirloin steak as well, which is always my choice cut as well. What's that sauce? That is Bernays, I believe. Bernays, nice, nice. Boys well, got chicken nuggets and chips, but ladies have got chicken nuggets as well. It's gone for the lamb. But lovely. That's lovely. So we just leave in the Pearl dining room. That was really delicious. So nice. And we are going to head upstairs now to deck 17. 16. 16. Thank you, darling, for a bit of a play. Look at this. Look at this. We've got a sunset. We've got a beautiful. Infinity Pool. We've got the spinner car over here. So we're exploring outside. We've got the sports arena there with the bar, panorama bar. And then the guys are looking out here. That's how I just showed you downstairs. <laughs> guys, have your dance. So we've got the sports arena. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, there's like basketball court here. This is cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, and a golf thing. What do you call that, babe? Putting thingy thing. And then over here. Don't stand there, don't stand there. Oh, yeah. I'll show you one. You got it. Did you actually mean to hit it? Eyes on the ball.
<laughs> this is a kids show. I'm saying penis coladas. Cheers. <laughs> Comment below if that's right. <laughs> So today we have a sea day and we are just above Norwich, <laughs> actually in a different time zone. So it's actually gone up to 9am, not 8am and I, my watch wasn't actually updated, but it does tell you on the telly. So this is the current view. I've got my coffee from the coffee maker machine. I've got my little notepad because I'm going to make some notes of what I want to include today in our videos and I'm going to catch up on what's going on today so this is delivered to your room every evening the night before and it will just give you all the information of what's on like i showed you oh i'm going to show you a bit more about that that sounds really good and yeah i'm just going to sort of plan our day From all things at once without thinking. So I've had lovely coffee on the deck. The children have gone to kids' club. We've I've got this breakfast. guy for a date. Hi. <laughs> Be a nice time. I am. We're yeah. just a bit put out this morning because we got our time in. Oh wrong. yeah, so we are just we were sort of like near Norwich, but the time's changed because we've gone over a little bit, so we're actually on Do plus one hour. Well, this is us. Yeah, so we're a little bit confused this morning. So we're going, the children are doing the kids club and I'll update you once I come out there what they thought. Oh, it's still going. So it's actually 11 o'clock now. And we've come to Horizon, which is all included in your package. Okay, this is our breakfast, all included. So I've gone for a bit of a mixture. I've got beans on toast, egg on toast and some bacon and some melon and a waffle. Stu's just got a bit of a mini fry up. I've let myself down. You uh, really have. Bean juice has hit me. Oh no. The bean juice is getting me in. Bean juice is my fine egg. That's a crime. <laughs> uh, what I've done to myself. Let yourself down there. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to fill up now because uh, this will see me through till probably a bit later and we're going to have an early dinner. <laughs> We've had our breakfast and we've just come to the aft end of the ship, arch aft, um, and look at the wave! There is just nothing apart from blue horizon around us. It really does make you feel insignificant because we are just a tiny little speck and even though we're just off the English coast, there is just so much sea around us. Amazing. So yeah, we're just going to have five minutes here, take it in, and then we're going to go get the children. That was absolute bliss. Just, you know, like that zen moment where you just, um, just spent the whole time picturing myself that this is real. Anyway, Stu's going to grab the boys and then grab them a buffet lunch with Liam and Pearl and Darcy. And I'm going to go to the spa with Louise. I'll show you what it's like there. It's a stunning spa and I'm often like... How is this a ship? Basically, I probably say that to myself about six times a day because there's so much on it. It's so huge. There's so many things to do. You have to keep thinking, I am on a ship. I'm not on. I'm not in a hotel complex. Anyway, I've got to find the key, grab my swim stuff, and then go to the spa. Wow, that was so quick. Just, just thought I'd show you. They've just made the room up so quickly. I've only been gone about half an hour. That was brilliant. Uh, oh, look! 
Oh, they do fruit basket. Oh, the boys are going to love that. That's so nice. I was going to grab them some fruit from the buffet and I forgot. Isn't that lovely? I love these little spaces everywhere. It's just like a really nice zone just to relax a little bit. Let me show you this one as well. So this is right opposite the cinema, which the boys are going to go to soon. I love this area. They've got some crosswords. The news of the day. Oh, I haven't shown you this. So this is like a little bit of an update of what's happening back in the UK. So that's issued every single day and pick that up around the ship and then yeah they've got this lovely like little chill zone loads of books here to read and magazines yeah it's a really big space the boys are off to the cinema today and they're gonna watch super mario rose which they're looking forward to let me see if i can actually have a little look inside show you so here we go no booking required and this is a seating plan, and it's obviously all included in your cruise. Let me see if it's started yet. Oh, it's not, let me show you. Like a little boutique cinema. It's quite a few different screens, I think there's four. And then there. So fun. I love all these lights up here as well. <laughs> this is in the main atrium, a different end of it, inside. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Congratulations! How amazing! I was going to show you this bar here. The decor in here is stunning. This green tiles. Then you also have this coffee shop here, which is Costa. There's lots of little cakeies. favourite drinks with an ocean view. I love this area. This is the gallery that you walk through to get to the spa. We've also got the Limelight Club here. I wonder where these are. Yeah, they're available to buy. And that is the Limelight Club, which we will be going to later on in the week. I'll show you that. The spa, Oasis. Oh, I'm not trying to flash now. I was trying to show you the logo. I don't think there is one. Um, yeah, so we just waited for Louise, and then I'm going to go in and have two bliss flowers. So that is terrible. Oh, total relaxation, girl time, chat. The boys have actually gone to the pool now because it's so sunny and I don't know what the weather's going to be like in Norway. So make the most of the sunshine. So we're going to do the pool and then I'll meet them afterwards. done at the spa, the hydro, my fingers have gone like, can't see them like, what do they call that? Wrinkly. Wrinkly. Crinkly. Crinkly. Have I, Louise has asked if this is enough water guys, you know, two litres. Where's it from? It goes everywhere with me. Amazon. Amazon, linked below. Linked below. <laughs> this goes everywhere with me and thank goodness because it's like um, it keeps me hydrated. Pail. Stuart calls it my water bowser, it's like a uh, kettle bell. Yeah, it's large. When it's full, it's heavy. Large and in charge. It's hydrated though. Let's have a look at Cruise Dad over here. Show us the paraphernalia. Oh, you are you are bought in to this. <laughs> so I just have a little peek around the shop. So many brands in here. This is all duty free. Show you one of my favourite brands over here. We've got the GHDs. And I've got Neon. There are so many brands here. Just trying to whiz through. Perfume. Really nice skincare. There's, oh, I need one of these. Oh, okay. This could be good. This could be good. It's in the set. It's. I'm sorry. What? From 135 to. Is that 37 pounds? Oh my gosh, that's such a good, such a good sale. now we've had a bit of a chill they're just watching a movie in the cabin and i just thought i'd pop to the shops quickly because i wanted to pick up a moisturizer wow my mum would love that the arc 
consultant in there in the limelight at the moment. Going through one of my favourite bits here. So the spa's up here as well. It was a really nice hydrotherapy session with Louise, just having a good old time to chin wag and chat. Oh, that's amazing. Love all this art. And you've got headliners up there. Oh, there, this is six. Yeah. Looking for a room. Is this red? Is this red? This is not red. This yeah. is blue. <laughs> I'm at the wrong end. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to take a lift up and then I'll walk along. But no, it was really nice just to have a little bit of chill time with Louise while the boys were playing in the pool. Actually, they ended up doing because the cinema was a different time. I'm a little bit with uh, sparified, but. Um, they do amazing massages in there. Loads of other treatments as well, like hair and nails and beauty stuff. So that's really nice. This guy living his best life. Have a little read. You've got a spot of sunshine. This is the view. And the children are in here having a little movie time. Bit of a chill for the evening activities. Put a film on there. So they've just. Oh! Don't drop it on the bed. We don't not need that. They've just knocked on the door with a canapé delivery. Obviously, it's celebration night tonight, and this is our little canapé to start us off. That's so cute. We are all in our finery for celebration night. So we have booked a free dining restaurant at the Opal, which is similar to the Pearl, but a little bit more intimate. We've got these handsome boys all dressed up ready. This handsome James Bond in the background there. And yeah, we're gonna go and have our meal, and then the children are booked into the pre kids club later. Um, and they want to go and have a little play. So many of Henry. My name is not Oh, they're all just coming. Got our little animals here. So I always find it amazing that this is included in your cruise because it's like it seems so premium. Especially when you got this hot date that it comes with. <laughs> very good, oh, very dad good. joke. Oh. And we got our cruise buddies there as well. So here we have, oh, we've got Marco Pierre White. So this is obviously the wine that's, that you could buy. I'll show you the one that we got yesterday, which was actually really nice, which is an additional charge. Oh, we got this one. It's 19.95. So look at this menu. It's like really nice, all included. And yeah, it's just it is just much smaller in here, so it's a little bit more intimate. It's nice. This is the best bread. Here, give me a cheers and cheers on that. And our starters have arrived. I've got the goat's cheese, which looks really good. What did you go for? Duck. Oh, the duck. Oh, wow, look at that. So fancy. Fancy. So, my dinner is here. It's a lobster and prawn with some rosette potato and green beans. Stu's got, what did you go for? A it's a beef medallion, yeah. What's that? That is uh, potato rosti, I think. Oh, okay, nice. And then the boys got good old chicken nuggets and chips <laughs> with sweet corn. So here is my pudding. This is the orange and dark chocolate something with pistachio with cream. Mess dress, oh yeah, let's dress over there coming in. Sorbet, but for the sorbet king. You love a bit of sorbet, don't you? And then the boys have got a chocolate brownie. This is from the children's menu. <laughs> it wasn't on the adults menu and I wanted a brownie, so... Did Henry, you do that yesterday as well? I did that yesterday as well. <laughs> Henry actually had that from the mango sorbets on the adult menu, so we've swapped. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you like what you like. This looks good though. It's coming across very yellow, but it's not. But it is, um, 
So we've finished our meal here in Opal and we yes thank you very much, thank you. And we're gonna head and find well Louise and Liam have just left because they were slightly ahead of us. Uh, so they're gonna meet us in the atrium and then I think we're gonna try and get a few pictures in our lovely finery. Just got called Elsa by a little girl outside, which was adorable. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go and get some pictures and then the children wanna go to kids' club for a bit, so we're gonna do that. So I feel like it's very yellow in here. <laughs> just the lighting. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do that and then um, head for just some people watching, like some taking it all in in the atrium, a table near the sea with the sea going by and a glass of something. Just, yeah, take it all in that this is happening, like we're just having such a lovely time. But sea day's been really nice, really sort of helps you ease into it and just get used to where everything is and do things that you don't want to almost like waste your time doing when there's, when you can off the ship. So if you're off, off the ship and you're going to an experience, there's things that you wouldn't sort of want to do, like the cinema and things like that that the boys have done today the pool. Um, the spa was really nice earlier. Louise actually had a massage, so they've got, um, I think, did they do a couple's one? No, separately. Um, that was really nice for them. And yeah, I think I might go maybe later in the week, I'm not sure yet. And they'll pop over to my Instagram, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis, if you want to see those photos. And uh, yeah, I'll check in after. These are the photographers doing their thing. Everyone's looking amazing. Uh, Louise now. Our little photos, here they are. What have you got there, Liam? It's got marshmallows on it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Daddy? Yeah. Daddy? Daddy? I have no That's idea who that is, so... Yeah, when, yeah. when, when uh, okay. Annie goes, Daddy Warbucks. You do? So a young daddy warbucks. A young daddy warbucks. Oh, okay. I've been, yeah, I've, you know, really, really didn't like it. I've been like no. every bald man ever. Oh, yeah. If you, they're bald, like, I get yeah. this, I've been calling them. Say Jason's Jason. I've had that. I've had that. I take that one quite nicely, actually. I, I live with that one. Yeah, you don't mind that one. Or Simon River. Yeah. Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just talking yeah. about lookalikes, so... Yeah. Loads of people actually on YouTube always say this to me and Louise posted on Instagram earlier and loads of people said that I look like Jessica Chapstone who is Arizona Robbins from Grey's Anatomy. I don't see it but so many people say it. Let us know who. What's yours? Emily Blunt. Fat Emily Blunt. We're going to go with just Emily Blunt. No, they specifically said Fat Emily Blunt. Which is just uncalled for. Um, Liam, what have we got? A, a doppelganger? Dan, um, doppelganger? I don't know if I've got any doppelgangers, but maybe Paul O'Connell rugby Mr. player. Tumble. Mr. Tumble. No, not Mr. Tumble. <laughs> no, that was what um, Smith said about the other day. He was like, I look like Mr. Tumble. And then Stu, of course, just any, any bald guy, basically, yeah. Although they were saying earlier, he looks a bit like a young Heath Ledger. What's that girl? Oh, nice. A Knight's Tale. A Knight's Tale. Night night, we are ready to go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. 
So this is going to be the end of part one of my Norwegian cruise vlogs. I really hope you did enjoy it and it was interesting and informative. If you are looking for information around what to expect on embarkation day, cabin tours, what to do on a sea day here on PO Cruises, Iona, I have got other vlogs which are from Avia. If you'd like to check those ones out, where we went to the Caribbean and we will be doing another vlog where we are going to show everything that there is to do in uh, Stavanger, Olden, Helios and Hawkeston and then another day at sea. So I'd love to see you over there. Leave me a comment if you are going on a PA cruise anytime soon or if you've been and leave me your tips as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.